What's up guys, back again with another video. Just got back from a local silver and gold pawn shop where we picked up even more of these one ounce rounds that we've been picking up for the last few days. Lots of good stuff in here, but guys, the video is not about this. This is the video right here. We have a full tube of Colombian Expositions. Uh, these are gonna be 1892 and 1893 Colombian Exposition coins. Well, we popped it open when we got in the car. There is something else in this roll and I'm gonna show you real quick what we discovered when we got out into the car. Uh, and it blew my mind. As you can see right there, do you see one that's different? Do you see that one right there that's different? Wait till we come to this. Let's take a look at these real quick. Uh, we got, I believe it was $8 face value. This one's at $18.93. Beautiful Colombian uh, exposition coins here, uh, which I think we're gonna make sets with these, 1892 and 1893. Those are the only two years that uh, they made these. I will be checking these uh, for doubling. The 1892s can have doubling on the, the number two. And uh, I think there's some, some that can have doubling on the number nine as well. So I'm just gonna go through these real quick, show you the condition. Most of these are fairly uh, circulated, but I believe there were a couple of nicer ones in here. And there's even a couple that were toned, a couple of them that were toned. There's a decent condition one right there. There's another nice one. We're getting closer to this coin, guys. I'm gonna have to pull out the book because I don't know exactly what we've got yet. This one's got some little stuff on him. So, oh, but look at the back on that one. It's super toned up, really cool. That may be something from whatever it was, you know, set in. Look at this one. This one's in amazing shape right there and it's toned up as well. Look at that one. That one's gorgeous. That's 1893, second year. All right, look at this. I still don't know what this is yet. I have not looked this up. The one thing I did notice when I looked at it though, it's got luster, guys. Look at the luster on this. It's not an 1893, it's a 1936. I can't see what that says. Long Island Tercentennial. Oh, I was gonna say Tercentennial, but it's Tercentenary. I have no clue what this is. I have no, absolutely no clue what this is, but look at that. It's got beautiful luster. This could be a really, really good coin for all I know. Uh, we're gonna look, we're gonna look this one up here in just one second. I'm gonna show you the rest of this. What everything else that we got. Uh, lots of 1892s and 1893s, which is what it was supposed to be. Cause so when I saw that one, I was like, what in the heck did we just get? So there we go couple more here and then we're going to go check out this other coin and see what it is worth what kind of mintages we have on it but most of these are in really nice shape really nice shape all right so let's go check this one out right now and see what we got all right so i went through my 1892s i didn't really see uh any double dies in there uh i did find a couple of little spots where there were some lamination peels starting on a couple of these uh, but nothing major. Uh, went, opened up my red book, came to the 1936 Long Island uh, Tercentenary. Uh, yeah, it's a 300 year old anniversary from when uh, white settlers landed in Long Island. So, uh, and uh, the the person that designed this is the son of the of the guy that did the Walking Liberty distribution. 81,000, we're talking under 100,000 minted. And look at these prices, uh, pretty nice. And I was looking up on eBay. These things are selling like hotcakes on eBay. And I'll tell you what, this one's in really nice shape. It's got beautiful luster. You can see it, you can see it doing cartwheels there. I think this coin easily is about, you know, a 70 to $80 coin, if not more, uh, especially if you get it graded. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you hit that like, subscribe, share, post your comments down below. We'll see you next time. As always, happy hunting.